All right, what's going on, guys? Willis here back with another Genshin Impact video. Quick news update for you guys today before we jump into today's video. The winner for the 10,000 Genesis Crystals has been chosen last night. I'm running a new giveaway for another 10,000 Genesis Crystals. Support this video with a like. It literally will take you one second. Leave a comment down below telling me if you guys been wishing for Zongli yet. Let me know. If you want to go enter the giveaway, you can join my Discord, discord.gg slash Willis. There'll be a link in the video description and the pinned comment. Click it, join, and there'll be a welcome message showing you how to join the giveaway. But yeah, guys, I wanted to get back into doing some Genshin news videos and stuff for the new events when they come out. Started playing Genshin a lot more now that uh, sort of Destiny has died down a bit. So we're going to be posting a lot more Genshin videos. So make sure you have bell notifications turned on for when I upload videos. But yeah, there is a new event coming in Genshin called the Gliding. Well, it's just called the Gliding, I guess, challenge event doesn't really have a name um essentially it's going to be an event based around gliding and i guess i'm going to sh just give you some quick tips on what you can do to obviously prepare for this event so the event's actually going to start on the 4th of december and it's going to have different start times i'm assuming for each region normally asia gets it first then eu and then na but i'll include the exact times in the video description um it's going to end on the 14th of december so we have around 10 days of the event you need to be adventure rank 20 to participate in this event um, and essentially how it's going to work so in the gliding challenge uh, travelers can put their gliding skills to the test in a total of seven different gliding courses over the seven day uh, event period one gliding course will basically unlock each day um, and you can look for the icon on the map and you can head to the starting point to complete the challenge to win rewards it says new gliding techniques are available for the gliding challenge sprint and ascend which are only available during the challenge itself so yeah i'm not entirely sure what this sprint and ascend uh technique is for gliding but i'm assuming it's maybe you can go up or increase the speed of your glider maybe um the more quickly you complete the course the more insignia you will collect and the higher your score will be at the end of the challenge reach target scores to win medals and rewards um, if you spend too long on a challenge or land uh, for too long, you will fail the challenge and have to restart. Uh, the challenge score progress meter only records your personal best for that particular course. Before the event ends, you can attempt challenges as many times as you'd like to improve your top score. It says complete new event related missions under Fading Star to receive BEP. And then it pretty much just shows all the times. But yeah, that's pretty much all the information we have so far. But yeah, from this event, it looks like we're going to be able to earn the upgrade talent books, also the purple hero's wit, some Mora, and obviously those juicy Primo gems. I'm assuming it's going to give us some challenges every day. They know that we like getting uh, Primo gems, just like the obviously the Falling Star event that we did. Uh, they give us a ton of Primo gems, and as a free-to-play player, if you guys are free to play that was probably one of the best events ever to come to genjin just from the sheer amount of primo gems they actually gave everybody and the fact that we're able to earn some more heroes whip books as well is always great for upgrading characters the talent books for obviously just upgrading uh on different days it's really good to just stock up on those books obviously if you're trying to level up because sometimes when you're hoarding these books and it's the wrong day and you need a certain type of book it's good to just have a bunch of them. But yeah, I guess what can we do to prepare for this gliding event? So I guess the first thing you can kind of do is obviously make sure you have the correct stamina food. Now, the Barbatos uh, Ratatouille is one of the best stamina foods in the game. And essentially what this will do, it will decrease stamina depleted by gliding and sprinting for all party members uh, by 15 to 25% for 900 seconds. And if you actually have Venti, you can actually cook the special version of this, which essentially doubles the time. So you can have like 1,800 seconds. And that's a lot. If you don't have that recipe yet, open up your map, come to the very top right up here by Storm Bearer's Peak. And essentially, I'm pretty sure she's on like the mountain here in this general area. You'll see a lady and just talk to her and she'll give you the recipe for that. But yeah, it's definitely worth stocking up on some of that summer food. And obviously the characters you, I guess you want to be using for this, it's no really brains here. If you have Venti, use him. He is by far the best for gliding just because of his perk, the Wind Rider. Decreases uh, gliding stamina consumption for your own party members by 20%. Now I understand everybody probably won't have Venti, but there is a really great second option that everybody will have. So Amber... 
finally a use for Amber, guys. So Amber has a uh, passive talent called Gliding Champion. And this decreases gliding stamina consumption for your own party members by 20%. So basically, if you don't have Venti, whap on Amber. And if you have Animo characters in your party, obviously you want to make use of the double Animo effect. Essentially, if you have two Animo characters, you are given the Elemental Resonance Impetus Winds. And this decreases stamina consumption by 15%, and this also increases movement speed by 10%. So in this event where we're going to be moving around a lot, gliding, basically needing a bunch of stamina, it's going to come in super, super handy. But yeah, best of luck on this event, guys. Once again, it starts on December 4th. You have a bunch of time if you guys want to stock up uh, on some food or just yeah, grab some new characters maybe. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like. Uh, leave a comment down below. Like I said, tell me, have you guys been wishing yet for Zhong Li? We did a really cool stream last night on Twitch where we essentially uh, rolled for Zhong Li. And I was actually pretty lucky. So we got him finally. Um, also, I have a new system now on my Twitch uh, for when I go live. Um, so you guys can actually earn Primo Gems just from watching me on Twitch. So essentially how it works is, obviously, you know, Twitch has the... Uh, point system essentially the more you watch the more points you will accumulate and eventually you'll actually be able to redeem these points for primo gems inside genshin impact so if you're not following me over on twitch guys twitch.tv forward slash willis gaming tv uh, every time i go live um all you have to do is just be watching and you'll just basically just earn primo gems from essentially watching it's a really cool system i've just put in today so yeah hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to go jump in the discord as well discord.gg slash willis and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video peace